Hello guys, welcome back to Line App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to create emo template in Canva with Mailchimp. So if you're interested, let's get started. So creating or integrating Canva or your Canva designs into your Mailchimp designs is going to be kind of easy. So there are just going to be a few things that you need to know and you need to set up here. So first things first is you want to go and just access your MailChimp account here and just log in into your account. And let's go and hit on the create button you see at the top left of your screen. Now from here, we want to go and choose the option to create our email here. So at the top left, let's go and choose email. Let's go and choose template here. So in this case, we want to just create our template here. And let's go and click on get started. Now from here, it should redirect you to the creation uh, section here, which in this case, you could choose like different templates that you want to use here. So in this case, you could go and choose whatever you want here, obviously. So let's go and choose one that you may want to start using. But obviously, you could change this later on if you want to. So in this case, you can choose one that we could use. So maybe you want to use one of the basics ones here. Let's go and click on maybe this one. Let's go and click on apply. From here, you can name your template. So for example, this is going to be my sample template. That's going to click on save. And from here, we should be able to start designing. Now, the thing with MailChimp here is they actually have a very good uh, type of a way of editing uh, your templates here. And as you can see at the left side here, we have different blocks that we could add. Now you have the heading, paragraph, button, spacers, images, logo, creative assistant, videos, and a lot more. So if you want to add like, for example, a section for uh, a code that you may want to implement into your section, you could just basically add your custom code here and a lot more. But the thing with this one is uh, if you want to implement your Canva designs here, so there are going to be different ways uh, that you could uh, do this. So this is the first way of adding this one. It's just by adding the photos into uh, your um, your design here from directly from Canva. So I have my account here. So just give you a, let's go ahead and go back here. I oh, sorry. Yeah, here, let's go ahead and add an image. And from here, you just click on this one and you can just add your image here. But the thing with this one is they have a specific uh, sizing here. So if you're not aware yet, so just, we have our padding here as well, if you want to change that design. But yeah, so in this case, let's go ahead and add an image here. So in this case, you have fill, scale, original. So let's go ahead and find something similar in this size. Let's go ahead and click on open up Canva here. Let's go ahead and click on create design top left. And you could just choose one of the following options. So there are going to be different sizes here that you could view. As you can see, there are going to be a lot. But let's go and choose the one here for banner. Now for our banner here, we just start adding whatever designs here. Let's go and go to elements. Let's go ahead and just maybe we want to add like flowers into this. Into this. Let's go and just add our flowers. And from here, let's go and click on our graphics. Let's see all. Now, in this case, you want to go and just start your design, adding your design, whatever you want to add in here. Oh, this is just an example. You can just do whatever you want here. So there's not th there's no limitation to it. So just add this one. You can even add like text. You can change the background for this one. Let's go and choose a background. Maybe choose this one. And let's go and add our text here. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and choose one that you may want to start using. Like for example, let's go and choose this one. This is just an example. Let's go and resize this. And once you've added your design here or whatever you want, as you can see, uh, we are able to click on the share button at the top right here and click on download. And just choose a formatting. So you could choose PNG here, click on download here. And once it's uh, downloaded, it's my, it might take a while here, but once it's actually downloaded, you should be able to start using it in here. Let's go ahead and click on our MailChimp design here. Let's go ahead and click on add. And just go ahead and click on upload image. Let's go ahead and choose our design here, click on open. And it should automatically add our photo here that we just recently created directly from Canva. Now, there are going to be different sizes that you could choose here. Like you have your original size here, which in this case, what we uh, just did. Uh, we have fill. We also have our scale here. Now, in this case, uh, this is something really cool because you can actually change the size for this one. As you can see, make it 100 or whatever you want. So, yeah. So, this is something really helpful here in order for you to add like customize design into your designs here in MailChimp. Now, also, if you're not aware yet, you could actually install Canva here into your MailChimp account. 
So in order for you to do that, what we need to do is you just know to go to the bottom left here with your content, it's just apps. You could go and just uh, add, or in this case, I'll drag it in here. Now once you've added the uh, app section here, you could just basically go ahead and click on manage apps here. So if you don't see Canva, let's go and click on manage apps. Now from here, this might take a while to load up, but once it's actually loaded up, you should be able to see the way for you to search for Canva. So I say this is Canva. Go, let's go and click on Browse Apps and Integrations. And from here, let's just search for Canva here real quickly. You should see Canva. Let's go and click on it. And you want to go and just click on Connect. So you can create custom designs in Canva and simply share them in MailChimp once connected. Let's, let's go and click on Connect. So this is a, a, a better way of uh, using uh, in this case, integrating Canva into your account. Let's go and click on Continue. So let's just wait for it and just click on allow so that MailChimp can use our Canva account. So once you've done that, it should start or finish up the connection process. So let's just wait for this one. And from here, as you can see, we now have Canva. So what we need to do, let's go back in here. Let's go and click on the uh, second app to install here. So let's go and go back and done. If you don't see it, let's go and re-add it again. So you should be able to see Canva here but just in case if you don't, you may need to open it up again. But in here, this is what we have it in here. So in this case, you could just basically cry, uh, start creating uh, your designs here via this way. So you can create email, sync designs. Uh, in this case, you're going to click on create email in here instead. And let's just wait for this to load up. So in this case, how do you want your design here? So in this case, you could create from scratch, basically uh, our fully designed template. Which in this case, if you choose fully the template here, you should be able to uh, use the already one that uh, already existing here on uh, your uh, uh, templates that are already existing here in Mailchimp. But if you use that basic one here, as you can see, uh, it's going to give you this option here. Now, in this case, how do we add a Canva here? But yeah, that's how you create a design by the Canva app here. But in this case, let's go and click on Sync Designs on uh, the Canva app page here. And you should be able to see different designs. As you can see, we already, already have this one if you want to sync that. So in this case, uh, once you've selected all the designs that you want to add here, you can just basically start adding this one. So what we need to do is, but yeah, in here, you should be able to start syncing different designs. So you have, so in this case, if you like, for example, if you want to add like this image here, you could go and click on view image. You could go and click on sync now. And once they are actually synced, once you opened it up and click on view image, you now have the option to start viewing those images. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on that image, click on view details, and you should be able to start using it. So you could copy the URL, edit the image in Canva here, or you can even go back here just in case, which gives you the option to view what uh, recently happened. So when it's created, any updates that made to it, you could also save the image via this way here. And if you want to edit this, you also have that option in here, just in case, like if you want to uh, change it directly in here. So if I'm not mistaken, if you click on the drop down here at the top right, you have the edit image in Canva, so you can directly edit that. But to be speaking, uh, you could just download the uh, image yourself from this page here and just start adding it in whatever way we added before, like adding images here, clicking add, upload image, or you could go click, or you could even like go to browse image here. If not mistaken, you could go and choose Canva, the left side here, and just choose Canva here, the sign we have. Let's go and click on sync and insert, click on sync now. And it should automatically sync our image here. So it will automatically sync. In this case, it might take a while, but yeah. So in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your app. Thank you for watching.